Here's the first one. This is the European model. This is the one that has it right about 10 o'clock on Thursday evening, very close to the Wilmington area. That's what the National Hurricane Center is going with. Okay, it's hurricane prep time. What's the name of the storm? Florence. Hurricane Florence headed our way. Oh boy. We get a lot of heavy winds and a lot of rain. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, you have Florence here. You have Isaac Helene. Even over the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, we have another disturbance that could be affecting the United States as well. But the presentation of this hurricane right now is just absolutely staggering. Hurricane Florence coming in a day and a half before Florence comes in. Let's see what it looks like in a day and a half. Hurricane Florence is still about 200 miles away from here. And uh, I'll tell you what, things are picking up. Coming up, I will show you one other model, the European, which could be a worst case scenario for us. The storm surge in this area could reach six feet. That's about as tall as I am. 25 mile an hour sustained winds currently. We're supposed to get over 10 inches of rain here. And winds uh, upwards of 50 miles an hour. So, see what happens. Then notice what happens here sort of does a loop south of us and that's why I say if any of these verify going south of Charlotte that ups our rain chances it also ups our threat for tornadoes as we go into the weekend. Now, I'm just going to show you the European. I don't... Things are picking up. A little gust coming through. It's early yet. the beach and see what is going on. I imagine a lot of people are telling you not to do this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A few people told me I was crazy, but like I said, this ain't my first radio. I've done this before. Awesome. Our first little bit of rain here. Hurricane Florence coming at us. Yeah, it's just starting to rain. I'm gonna walk down to the beach here. Yes! It's probably 30 mile an hour winds. It's supposed to be worse tomorrow night, so we'll see. Business as usual up in the skies. Hearing some stuff going on inside this tree is a little scary. Oh, you know what it is? It's it's touching that other tree, and I can feel it. No, I can feel the fibers inside the tree kind of creaking. I really think we're in a an absolutely wonderful spot to really get a feel for what is like out here on the lake. Just a nice walk through the woods. You guys remember this big old tree right here? This tree was struck by lightning. I almost got it on video. He's deciding to spend the night on board. So you're 
you're worried that if you left your boat alone, it would get destroyed. Correct, correct. We, that's one thing uh, us captains don't do. We don't run for the hills. We uh, like to stay where our assets you might be.